My brothers and sisters, welcome to our celebration this day. Today, Jesus invites us to be humble in the sight of God and of others, and to see that all we have and all that we are comes from the gifts of God for his glory. So let us begin our celebration this day with the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And my brothers and sisters, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We come together as God's family this day. We take an opportunity in the silence of our hearts to thank God for his many blessings, but to also ask God for his peace and his forgiveness, recognizing God as a Father full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the throne of grace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, to God in, the in the highest, highest. And, on and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify, glorify you. We give, give you thanks, thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son Lord God, Lord Lamb of God, Son of the, of the Father, Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. So let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our brothers and sisters, let us listen to the word of God as it is proclaimed to us. A reading from the book of Sirach. The Lord is the judge, and with him there is no partiality. He will not show partiality to the poor, but he will listen to the prayer of one who is wronged. The Lord will not ignore the supplication of the orphan or the widow when she pours out her complaint. The person whose service is pleasing to the Lord will be accepted, and their prayer will reach to the clouds. The prayer of the humble pierces the clouds, and it will not rest until it reaches its goal. It will not desist until the Most High responds and does justice for the righteous and executes judgment. Indeed, the Lord will not delay. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am already being poured out as a libation, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on, 
There is reserved for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. At my first defense, no one came to my support, but all deserted me. May it not be counted against them. But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. So I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and save me from his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and regarded others with contempt. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee standing by himself was praying thus, God, I thank you for that I am not like other people thieves, rogues, adulterers, even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give the tenth of all my income. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even look up to heaven, but was beating his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went home justified rather than the other. For whoever him, him, exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I recently had an opportunity to have a trip to Italy and to spend some time in Assisi, the birthplace of Francis of Assisi. And being a Franciscan myself, you can only imagine how exciting this trip was for me. And while I was on the trip, I heard lots of stories about the life and times of St. Francis, but one particular story among the hundreds that exist about Francis struck me. And it goes something like this. One day, St. Francis was out walking in the forest that surrounds Assisi, and another friar named Brother Maceo started calling to Francis. Francis, Francis, why after you? Why after you? Why after you? Francis, not knowing what Maseo was talking about, replied, Brother Maseo, what do you mean, why after you? And Maseo responded by saying, I mean, why does all the world seem to be running after you? Everyone wants to see you. Everyone wants to listen to you and just to hear your words. You're not a handsome man. Or you're rich or wise or learned. Yet the whole world is running after you. Francis, why after you? On hearing this, Francis stood silent for a moment, and he fell to his knees and said, Brother Maceo, you know why after me? Why is everyone running after me? You see, I think that God looked around the world. He looked in the hearts of each and every person that lives on this earth, each and every creature that calls this earth home. And after looking over all of his creation, God could not find a more sinful, more vile, more insignificant creature than myself. No lower creature exists on this earth than me. But God did choose me, Maceo. And why did he choose me? So that in spite of all the great things that he has done and is doing and will do through me, God chooses the weak, the foolish, and the despised of this life so that no one and nothing can have pride in and of itself. The glory that God gives to me is not from me, but from God. I am only a lowly sinner, but I've been made better because of God. And with these words, Brother Maceo discovered that St. Francis was truly a follower of Christ, a humble and servant, a true servant of God. And Brother Maceo also found out why the whole world was running after Francis of Assisi. 
My friends, I tell you this story today because it's not just another night's story about St. Francis, but it has a lot to do with our gospel passage today that we just heard a few moments ago and Jesus' ta- teachings about humility and humility in the sight of God. Humility and being humble is one of those things that in life that as soon as you have it or think you have it, you really don't. Once you think you are humble, you really aren't, you're actually prideful, so it can be a little tricky. And even though the gospel story we just read about the two men who were praying in the temple and the, the story about St. Francis might lead us to think that humility that something belongs that somewhere in history, something only found in biblical times, something only the great saints can have. Humility is actually something that we ourselves should strive for. It's not only a virtue of highest regard, it is also necessarily part of our daily lives as Christians and as Catholics. So what is Christian humility and how do we become humble? Well, I guess one of the two, of all the things that could be said about being humble, for me it comes down to two little things. Firstly, humility is not not only thinking of ourselves less, but also thinking of ourselves at often less times, and C.S. Lewis wrote that. Humility is not being humble. The virtue is being called to live as Christians may not be part of our human nature. But then again, humility and being humble is not denying the natural gifts or talents that we have, but rather true Christian humility admits that all of our gifts, all of our talents, all of our accomplishments come from God. He makes them all possible from start to finish. We are not the only, we are not responsible for our gifts, our talents, our achievements in this life. Is God working through us? And we believe that. And for us, we just need to stop and realize that once every once in a while. Because I think it's true humility begins and ends with God. So my brothers and sisters, humility is one of those things, those virtues that is uniquely Christian. We rarely hear it spoken outside of these, these four walls. The world outside tells you, achieve, accomplish, be, be proud of yourself. Do anything that you can. But as Christians and as Catholics, while we're busy doing and achieving and accomplish the things that we set out to do in this life, we remind ourselves of one important fact. Although we may have many talents, we may, have, we may not be the source of our talents. Although we may accomplish much, we may not be the cause of our accomplishments. And although we can do much in our lives to better ourselves, we are not the be-all and end-all of anything. As Christians and as Catholics, we may know and believe that God, the Father, is our source of all that we have and all that we are. And we must never, ever forget that. And not all it takes, as I think, is a little humility to realize that and admit that in our daily lives. My brothers and sisters, may these words have meaning your life and mine, and may God give you his peace. So together as one family of believers, we profess our faith this day in God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as we pray. I believe, I believe in, in God, God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of, of heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, Christ his only Son, Son our, Lord, our Lord, who was, who was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit and born, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was, was crucified, died, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My friends, we come together to worship and to praise. Father, let us now present our prayers and our needs to you. For the church, sacrament of God's forgiveness and love, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all church leaders, that they may be filled with the wisdom of God, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who search for forgiveness and those who reach out to them, we pray. Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For the sick and the infirm and all those separated from their parish communities who join us today, that this Mass celebrated for them will bring comfort and joy. We pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. Let us take a few moments and offer our own petitions. We pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. Father, with confidence we make our prayers in faith, believing that you will hear us and help us to serve you in love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, having listened to God's word, let us celebrate his supper in joy and thanksgiving.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. So pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good, good of all his holy church. church. Look, we pray, O oh Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, and giving you thanks, Father, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, Father, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by his Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity and love, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, the Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
at our Savior's command, informed by his divine teachings, as brothers and sisters, we dare to pray. Our, our Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress and worry, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My friends, let us offer peace in our hearts and our minds to those who may need God's peace this day. In his name and in the silence of our hearts, let us offer our forgiveness and our peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, of the world grant, grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for each other. So let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Almighty God bless and protect you now and always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass, our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God and have a great day.
Good morning, and thank you for celebrating with us on this Sunday morning. A special word of thanks to Father Michael Corsioni. Father Michael is the pastor of St. Peter's Parish in Woodbridge. As you know, next month, we will begin a new liturgical year in the church, and there'll be different prayers and readings for the Mass. Again this year, the Catholic Cemeteries of Toronto are happy to send you a new missal with all of the prayers and the readings for the Mass so that you can follow along during the Mass. All you have to do is write to the address that appears on your screen just shortly, and they will send you one. There is no charge at all. Again, thanks for being with us. Thanks for your letters of support and your financial support that makes this Mass possible. Until next week at this time, God bless. Forgive us, Lord, as we